The funniest story was uh, the fishing tournament out at uh, San Peden Park. <laughs> we had to watch, I, I wasn't aware of this for, for the first couple of years, but then I found out my good friend Mike Gardner was in charge and I found out that the participants in the fishing were bringing their own fish and they were they were cheating they were just you know everybody lies about the fish you catch it gets bigger and bigger the more times you tell the story but these people were bringing their own fish and uh, when they kept changing the rules like the most fish the biggest fish the fattest fish the heaviest fish they were putting bb's and sinkers in the fish to make them weigh more so it became it was like going to a turkey shoot you had to have all kind of judges there to make sure that the participant didn't get a medal that didn't deserve it so that was a that was the funniest thing listen going way back these people they couldn't walk straight you know when we had the closing ceremonies because they had all the medals around their necks. And the older people get, I think, winning a medal makes them feel younger. In fact, there was one lady whose name I shall not tell you because I've already forgotten. She found two husbands. I'm not making this up. She, she married fellows that she had met at senior games and two times, two times. And the friendships that some of these people made with one another uh, was just absolutely heartwarming. It tickles me that one of the best childhood games in the world, the bear hunt, is so popular with these seniors. My kids and, and, the, and my class, if they were good and did their work and didn't cause me to frown all during the week on Friday, we would go on a bear hunt, and oh my goodness, would we, and we would make it longer than what, what it really is. So to have the seniors enjoy that game, that really makes me feel good. It takes me back to my classroom. Well, they gotta play it. They gotta come to senior games and find out just exactly what a bear hunt is. <laughs>